a circuit from an analog frequency meter for frequencies between 55 hertz, sorry, 45 hertz and 19 kilohertz. I hope it's visible from this distance. I think I have to pan a little bit over the circuit. Inspired by this Philips data sheet from the 555. Here it's a tachometer for, um, for a car, the speed of the engine. But I've changed it somewhat into this circuit here. This is the experimental circuit. I'm going to build it in a neat box within a short time. At the moment my generator here generates 1.4 um, kilohertz. And when I turn a knob from the meter we go from, from 1.4 uh, kilohertz to 19 kilohertz. So this is the highest frequency band that the meter can handle. 90 kilohertz. Of course you need a good meter. You have to draw three scales finally. A good big meter with a big pointer. Transmittance here means nothing. I have to draw the scale a new, completely a new. So let's pan over the circuit. At first the power supply made by a BD137. It delivers 6 volts to the circuit. You need exactly 6 volts otherwise it doesn't work. And the reason is that this first transistor is the pulse former. The BC547B. It generates the pulse that drives the 555. Here the decoupling unit, 470 microfarad cap. And um, it works in fact very easy. Uh, here uh, the frequency comes in, goes to the 555. And in the 555 um, the frequency is translated into a, a current. And that current is proportional to the frequency. Here are the pin connections from the transduced transistors. The meter uh, has a DC resistance from approximately 1000 ohms. Could be that you have another meter uh, from 1600 ohms or so, doesn't matter much. You have to adapt the values from these resistors here experimentally. 27 ohms and 4K. And the meter is safeguarded by two silicon diodes anti-parallel and a one microfarad non-cap non-polar capacitor. Here the, again the power supply very simple one transistor. The zener is 6.2 volts but in the same row we have two normal silicon diodes and the effect is that we find here at the emitter exactly 6, 6 volts. Furthermore, there's not, not so much to tell about the circuit. You only have to uh, make it correctly. I made it here in the, in the way I always make my circuits with brass nails on a piece of wood. Uh, decoupling unit, input circuit with the BC547B. 555 now in the middle of the screen. The meter on the back side from the meter, two anti parallel di diodes, and that cap from one microfarad, non polar. It has two, uh, three settings. First, from 50 45 hertz up to uh, 200 hertz and then 200 to 2000 hertz and then 2 uh, kilocycles up to 90 kilocycles. This is the switch. And that is this switch here, switch 2. There's another switch in the circuit and that is switch 1, now in the middle of the screen. 
normally closed, but when you open it, you can measure the lowest frequencies between approximately 40 hertz and um, approximately 200 hertz, especially the very low frequencies. Uh, to measure them, you must open that switch. I've experimented very much with this circuit to make it proper functioning. Now, the principles are here. And I can say it works quite good. Let's go to another setting. Uh, then I have to open here also. Um, well, this is not very convincing. I keep it to the, the highest position. From 19 kilohertz, pointer is here. Back to 1.5 kilohertz, and now the pointer is here. One point nine kilohertz, ninety nineteen kilohertz. Wish you luck.